So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now this video was recorded during early access as THQ Nordic and Nine Rocks Games were kind enough to allow me to take part in the early access for Way of the Hunter so once again a huge thank you for that. Now today's video is going to be completely focused on Red Deer here on Transylvania. Now I absolutely love the Transylvania map as it has a lot of species that I'm used to seeing here in the UK including the Red Deer, Roe Deer and Fallow Deer. So those three are some absolutely firm favourites of mine in this game and the Red Deer of course are just so incredibly magnificent and I haven't spent a whole lot of time hunting them so yesterday I decided it was time to go and just really go for a hunt for Red Deer. And as you'll see, I ended up taking out this four star mature stag. Now this was on some private land that I had gotten access to after purchasing a pass. And this was just one of the first stags I came across and he was absolutely beautiful. Now something I want to make note of is you may have noticed that while he was actually alive, he looked a lot greyer in colour than he does whilst on the ground. It seems to be a thing that they kind of change colour a little bit when they go onto the ground after you've shot them. A little bit weird, but in the lodge he would be the same colour as he was on the hoof, as it were. Now, taking a look at the detail on the antlers, and I have seen many red deer antlers in real life, and I can tell you that the detail on those antlers is so incredibly spot on that it ha actually just completely blew me away. Just incredible, down to the most minuscule details, absolutely perfect. So yeah, seriously impressed with the red deer, and I really, really wanted to find a five star. The, you know, I really wanted to find a five star row, a five star fallow, and a five star red deer. Those were basically my three top species from the entire game that I really wanted to get some trophies of. So taking down this guy, it was kind of close as a four star mature. So this kind of gave me a little bit of a, a hint towards what finding a five star might be like. And yesterday only got even cooler because as I continued to hunt around on this new plot of land that I had gotten access to, it actually started to storm and I ended up hunting red deer a lot yesterday whilst it was actually really really heavily raining and there was thunder and lightning going on as well and it made for the most incredible atmospheric hunt and I actually hadn't seen proper rain so all I had seen was on the Nez Perce Valley map I had seen a little bit of rain but no thunder, no lightning, nothing like this and this was just incredible to see. Now, when I found this group of red deer here feeding up on this hillside, I could see that there was a couple of really big stags. Now, I could see that one of them was a four star mature because he had gone off to the sort of side of the group. And then I just managed to get a spot on the other one there, another four star mature. Two four star mature stags in one group. That was a pretty awesome thing to come across. Seeing the four and five stars is a lot rarer than seeing your, your lower star animals. And I was just absolutely blown away by this sight. Getting to watch a couple of absolute beasts just out here in the rain whilst the lightning kept striking and sort of illuminating across this hillside. It was just absolutely awesome. Now, I'm not actually going to shoot either of these four star matures because I decided I wanted to leave them and basically see if they would get any bigger, as I had heard that people had experienced leaving four star matures on their map and seeing them get bigger. So I decided that I would leave them and try and take one of the poorer individuals from this herd, and hopefully that in time this would mean that I would end up with even better quality stags in the area, hopefully some five stars. And I was just waiting here for stags to move around in the group so that I could actually get a shot at the one that I specifically wanted to take down. And you kind of ended up here with the two four star matures, sort of one in front of the other. And that's just such an incredible sight. The amount of antler there is really, really awesome. Some beautiful looking stags. And these racks are so typical to, you know, what I would, what I would associate with a big red deer here in the UK, that... I just absolutely love hunting these guys. They are so incredibly well done. Incredible models. 
Like, the level of detail on these red deer is absolutely insane. You can see how much love went into actually making the models for these guys. Just absolutely awesome. And I know I'm sort of rambling about how cool they are, but this was just a fabulous experience. Like I said, I hadn't hunted them a whole lot. I'd shot, I think, maybe one or two, just as they were on public land and, you know, I was moving through. But this was my first proper hunt to go and look for red deer and it just went so incredibly, incredibly well. And it just solidified how much I love these guys in game. They're just a fantastic species and I hope eventually I can find some rares as well for these guys for the trophy lodge as well as some huge five stars. Now there you will have seen I opted to take a one key very very poor quality stag out of the group and as you can see he's running away there with his head down I knew that must have been a good enough shot to bring him down. Now I am using the 338 Lepore which is a little bit big of a round for a red deer but it is ethical for these guys it is a class 6 and these are a class 6 animal it just does cause a bit of meat wastage but I wasn't really fussed about that. I just like to bring animals down as quickly as possible. And as you will see, nice double lung shot there, or rather single lung shot and liver. And that's going to bring him down nice and quickly. A lung and liver is pretty much going to be as good as a double lung shot in my experience. Well, at least it is in most, most circumstances and he really didn't go very far. And that bullet actually went through just into the intestines there as well. It was a bit of a tough angle on that shot, but nevertheless it still brought him down nice and quickly. Now, as you can see, taking a look at this guy's antlers, he is really wonky. And this was one of the things that sort of switched me on to the fact that he was probably a poor individual. And sure enough, taking a look at him, he is an adult, but he's a one star. Now, in real life, if you saw a stag with really wonky antlers, normally they're the ones that, in my experience, are the ones that get taken out as cull animals. Same with roe deer, same with fallow deer, same with pretty much anything. If it's really wonky, normally they get taken out as they're not always going to turn into the best individuals as they grow up basically so I figured that I'd use that logic and sure enough uh, it kind of worked out with him being such a poor class adult and yeah was really happy to actually take him out of that group considering the rest of that group seemed pretty high quality and he just seemed to be one that was lacking quite a bit now actually I ended up carrying on hunting and ended up finding even more red deer, again, still during this amazing storm that was going on. And it just was so cool. I was really pleased to actually see a storm in game, finally. You can see the lightning there, once again illuminating the countryside. Really, really awesome, and I figured this would be a nice showcase of some of the weather mechanics as well. Now, once again, I've gone for a poor adult individual here, and he's just not the greatest looking adult he's only a one star so once again i decided that he was probably the one to take out from this herd and you can see the 338 lapour it, it didn't take him long to go down from that shot as you would pretty much expect now whilst i was walking over to claim him something incredible happened that lightning strike just completely lighting up my screen just absolutely awesome the atmosphere it felt like I was there in the storm. It was so cool. This is definitely the best storm I've seen in a game. It really captured what it was like. Now, like I said, this was the poorest individual from that group. He's an okay adult, but still the poorest one out of the entire group. Once again, a lung liver shot. Again, kind of that weird-ish angle where it's not going through to that second lung, but it does go back into the liver. And like I said, brings them down pretty much as quickly anyway. So no problems at all with that shot. Now you can see adult one star. Again, he's just not the best adult out of that group or even the best really overall stag out of that group so again just taking them out again the 338 lapur is a little bit big so some meat damage but i wasn't really fussed i'm only here to take out some cull individuals hoping for basically better respawns i guess now this herd here i had such a cool time actually hunting they were in a bit of an awkward position but I had pretty good wind and I decided with this herd that basically I would crawl in as close as I could and then try and get some pictures of them using the photo mode. Now I have strict rules about how I will use photo mode and I will mention this in different videos. But for me, photo mode is only to be used 
when I have like I can actually see the animal so like right here I can see this red stag so if I wanted to use photo mode to take some pictures of him that's absolutely fine but I won't use photo mode to get any kind of advantage by sort of flying up and looking around that's not my style I imagine it as using a camera like I would in real life and obviously you can't take pictures of something you can't see and that is the only time I'm going to use that camera. If a deer runs out in front of my vehicle, I'm going to take a picture of it because it's a cool moment. If I manage to get really, really close to uh, an animal because it's unaware of my presence or there's a cool scene, um, but I can see it. As long as I can see it with my own two eyes, then I will use the camera. And I tried that with this group for ages, but unfortunately, I don't yet have the extended camera range perk, and it just wasn't quite a long enough lens, effectively, to actually get the kind of pictures I was looking for. That is something I will definitely go for, is that perk, but like I said, it is going to be only to take pictures of animals that I can see with my own two eyes. I'm never ever gonna use it to try and work out where an animal is that I can't see or anything like that I have to be able to see it with my own eyes and I just thought I would clarify that for when I'm talking about using photo mode now there you can see I decided to go for the older stag in this group a nice mature again he wasn't very very big but he was probably the one that I thought should go out of this group really he wasn't the the best quality for what he was for a mature so i decided to take this guy out and i did actually use photo mode there to take some atmospheric pictures which you may see at the end of the video because he was led on the road and of course you could see the rain and everything and it ended up being a quite a nice scene that is the only other time i will use photo mode is for like trophy pictures effectively which is what it's almost designed for is to take pictures of of the animals one they're in front of you and to take sort of mock trophy shots basically i would assume so yeah those are that's that's how i feel about photo mode i'm not going to criticize anyone else for doing anything else with it but those are my personal rules and i thought i'd make that clear because there's been an awful lot of discussion about it recently in the uh, the discord for this game you know and how people should should or shouldn't use photo mode and i just wanted to make it very very clear that i'm not going to use this in any way to my advantage other than getting cool pictures hopefully for thumbnails and stuff but only when i can see the animal anyway i shall stop rambling about that because the next encounter i had was not during the storm but ended up being so so cool now this is a, a, a basically an encounter where i probably should have used photo mode but i was just so blown blown away really by what was happening that i kind of forgot that it was a thing and this group of red deer basically was completely ignoring my presence and i was just staying nice and still and they just didn't seem to notice me and staying still in this game is a huge factor you can be close to a group of animals and as long as you're staying still they won't notice you but as soon as you start moving i've noticed that they'll sort of twig that you're there and this big mature comes in he's quite unusual looking and i decide that you know he's got the gray coat on him he's probably getting towards the end of his days i'll take him now as you can see he's sort of trotting there and he actually does not go very far before he goes down. Now, I did get a, a perk unlock there, and it kind of made the screen go weird for a split second. So I do apologise for that. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Now, once again, it was a very, very angled shot. He was very heavily quartering too. Almost kind of straight on, but yeah, very heavily quartering too. And that shot basically went from just, just behind the front of the lung all the way through the back and then really almost into the, the liver there and then into the intestines. Like I said, a very heavily angled shot, but one that was more than good enough to bring him down. He basically lost that entire lung from that one shot, so I was pretty happy with that. And a pretty unusual and beautiful looking stag. He had some really very odd looking antlers on him. So I was very happy to take that one out. Now, later on that evening, I was driving back to the spot where I had seen those two four star matures to see if I could catch up with that herd. And there was a herd on the road with a five star mature. Now, it wasn't far off from where I'd seen the other the other herd with the two four stars. So whether this was part of the same group, I don't know. 
all I know is there was a five star mature and it led me on the most incredible and crazy hunt. That shot I thought was going to nail that stag. I thought it was a perfect shot. However, you will have noticed that the tree hitbox actually took it and you will have seen the bark go flying. I was gutted. I then spent ages trying to track the herd down again and I got a call from, from some red deer in about the right area so I tracked him down and this ended up happening. Once again, a group of red deer just walking towards me casually, no idea I'm there. But unfortunately, it wasn't his herd. So I ended up going to take, again, one of the poorer individuals from the herd. Managed to completely drop it with a heart shot. Which, that's one of the few heart shots I've made. And I was super happy with that. The way the stag actually landed, I just thought it looked so incredibly cool. And I had such a blast hunting these guys. You know, that was just so cool. You know, for one of my better shots to be on one of these beautiful stags. I loved it. But... The sun was setting very quickly, you may have noticed, and this wasn't the herd of that five star. I was panicking, because animals can die in this game, and I knew that this guy was an old mature, he had the grey coat, so I didn't know how long he was going to live for, and I was worried about resetting the time in case he'd die or something. So I carried on stalking, finally found his herd again, but you guys can see the quality of the light I'm dealing with. Now I could see the five star was in there. But the light was just so, so bad. And I was thinking, even if I can shoot this guy, it's going to be nigh on impossible for you guys as viewers to be able to see it. Really stunning lighting. But it gets beautiful sort of evening colours and that. And then it just so quickly turns to night. Kind of like it does in real life. It just suddenly gets dark. And you can probably barely see, but I could see them moving around in there. And I was actually really grateful in this case that the actual reticle on this scope is actually kind of lit up with the red there. And I said, as soon as I can see his vitals, I'll take a shot. And I was just trying to line up to make sure that I should be able to get a nice clear shot at him here. And I was marking where he was, hoping that this was going to pay off. I take the shot. And it hit another tree hitbox. The tree hitboxes in this game are awful. They are so big. But I'm hoping that's something that can be adjusted. Because they are just so big. And it's cost me a couple of shots where, you know, they shouldn't have hit the tree. But it kind of ended up being that this worked out just making this the most crazy hunt. Because I ended up having to reset the time, because obviously it had gotten dark. I reset it to the time that I had initially found that group, came back to the same area where I had initially spotted them. Bearing in mind I don't have a need zone here for red deer. I get out of the truck to start looking and I get a call from an alert, an alert hind. You will have seen just there, yeah, as there's a hind there and she is alerted. Thankfully, I didn't get too close with the vehicle, so they didn't spook, but they do know I'm here. And I was really, really hoping that this might be his herd. And I'm just sat there, almost holding my breath, hoping to see that five-star walk out. I was so invested in this hunt. One of the craziest and coolest hunts I've ever had in any game, ever. I wanted to find this stag. This meant so much to me. I can't explain it. And I saw the five star come up there, quickly get the gun. I'm like, this time, this time for real. You've had two shots at you that have clipped trees. This time you're going down. And I had such like a moment here where when I saw that shot impact, he jumped up and then I just saw the antlers tip over through the grass. Oh, it was such a, um, just, I don't know, the adrenaline was crazy. It felt like a real hunt, you know, not knowing if that animal's going to be there, not knowing if it's going to have survived the night. Oh, just what a hunt, what a hunt. You know, I can't explain how this game makes me feel, but it is just like being on a hunt. And, you know, I've only hunted a couple of times in real life, but I've been out many times with a camera, you know, in these kind of situations, looking to try and find animals in the same place again. And it was just that kind of thrill of actually, oh my gosh, he's here, he's here, he's here, he's here, this is the moment. Insane. Now, I'm using photo mode here to take some trophy pictures, and just some pictures in general, just to remember this hunt. 
it was over two hours and oh my gosh was it worth it <laughs> i would do it again in a heartbeat and probably twice or three times the length of a hunt for a creature like this absolutely incredible so claiming him here claiming him here you can see i shot him with the 338 again i'm getting tongue-tied talking about this it was so cool and i couldn't wait to get this up today and share share it with you guys this happened like 2 a.m last night while i was recording oh i didn't expect this um perfect double lung shot with the artery in there as well just couldn't have gone better now i was more than happy to use the 338 and get some meat damage I wanted this guy to go down nice and quick, no worries about losing him with a small blood trail or anything. I wanted him down. I wanted this tag down, dead, able to be claimed nice and quickly. I didn't want my game to crash. I've only had a couple of crashes in the whole time I've played this, but you know, tempting fate. I didn't want anything to go wrong. And there you can see five star trophy rating, only a three star hunt rating because of meat wastage. 91.29% genetics. Again, it still seems to be a widely debated topic what exactly the genetics mean. But he's a mature, quite a heavy weight there, 235 kgs, 5 star red stag. That is one of the animals I wanted to find the most. And based off of his trophy screen, I know that he's not even that big in terms of how big these guys can get. Every animal in this game maxes at 500 on the score and I found that out through looking through the encyclopedia. Everything I have seen, their score maxes at 500. So when we go across to the trophy screen in a second, you can see he's a 466. So they can get quite a bit bigger based off of that and this guy is a beast, like a beast of a stag. So. I can't wait to just keep managing this herd, seeing if I can get rares, seeing if I can get more five stars. I got a trophy lodge to fill. You know, I want some big fallow, some big reds, hopefully some rares in there as well. And of course the roe deer as well. And this guy had to go on a full body mount. And now he's in the lodge, you'll see that he is the grey colour that he was when he was actually alive and walking around. Versus the reddish colour that he was when he was actually on the ground and dead. So yeah so incredibly happy with how this went down and i still can't really believe it my second five star animal during early access i've had a five star white tail over on there's purse valley and now a five star red deer here on transylvania i am so incredibly lucky and fortunate and grateful for how everything played out and like i said that hunt last night was insane and i'm so grateful i got to actually capture it and share it with you guys and hopefully the i hopefully i've managed to put some of the emotions that went into that hunt into this video because i want you guys to know how incredible it feels to find a trophy animal in this game they are hard to find they're not round every corner you know i've not seen a single rare even yet so you know these things are so incredibly hard to find and then they can just disappear and tracking them isn't as simple as just follow a trail along the ground you have to listen for signs you have to place markers it's just so in depth and i'm just so pleased i'm so 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 happy so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys i wasn't expecting that when i went for that red deer hunt yesterday had no idea any of this was gonna happen and yeah an incredible day of hunting red deer really thank you guys so 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 much for watching and for all your support as always i really do appreciate it as i always say it does mean the world to me thank you so much and i will see you guys in the next video thank you